and welcome back to Book Chats with Mostly Books. I apologize for our very late start today. Uh, phones did not want to cooperate. <laughs> <laughs> At any rate, I'm Jody, and this is Natasha. And today we're talking about The Taste of Tucson. And this is our first cookbook discussion. Yeah. And it was an adventure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think we're excited to talk about everything. We're also going to post photos of the process, at least some of them, in the comments later on after the book chat, just so you can see how things went as we actually made the recipes. Yes. <laughs> um, anyway, should we, do we just want to dive right in? Yeah, I think so. Okay. That's the plan. Excellent. What did you think of the cookbook initially? I like the cookbook. I think it's fun. I like the recipes in it. I think it was a great idea. Um, mm -hmm. Once I started using the cookbook, it was a little different. <laughs> we'll look we can talk about that later. Yeah. <laughs> um, I really actually enjoyed the cookbook. Um she puts in I should have also said that this is by Jackie Alpers is the um the author and she also did the recipes and she puts in some great history of Tucson that I was I unaware that of. Too, yeah. I loved reading everything she had put in the front and all her little Yeah. I notes. thought that was really fun. I Yeah, I did too. Not I've only been here for twelve years, so this was a fun little like learning experience about the town. Yeah. Um, that I don't think I would have even ever thought to actually like go explore on my own. <laughs> and I wouldn't know either. No. <laughs> no. So I definitely recommend reading the intro and all the blurbs above all the recipes. Yeah, I did too. I recommend that too. I liked all that too. Yeah, I mean it, it was, was really fun to sit down and just read the book. Yeah, I, I agree. So. Yeah, and I really liked she does a timeline. Did you see the timeline? I did. Um, yes. The Tucson history and timeline in the beginning. I thought that was really cute yeah. and clever. <laughs> I did too. I liked it. Um, I have to I share. The pictures in it. I liked it. Oh, I know. The photos were great. Uh-huh. Um, I could have had a few more photos of the food. Of the food. Yep. Yeah, I could have done with that too. But um, I was okay with, with not as well. Yeah. I did have one fun little comment to make about the, the, the timeline. <laughs> I enjoyed the chimichanga story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to read that. Because <laughs> I didn't know where the chimichanga started, but it started in Tucson. <laughs> At El Charo, when Monica Flint accidentally dropped a burro into a frying pan filled with hot oil and exclaimed, chimichanga. And you can totally <laughs> see that happening because she had kiddos around and she couldn't say, say anything yeah. else. <laughs> And I'm so happy she created that because that's one of my favorite Mexican dishes. Yeah. <laughs> I like the um, So anyway, I just thought that was such a good little add-in and I could just totally see that happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I also really enjoyed that she put her pantry in here. I did like that too. I always love any one when they're like, pantry staples. Mm -hmm. I love reading them. And it was different pantry staples than I've typically seen. It was totally different. Mm -hmm. And some of them I tried to find and, sh and didn't. Yes. Yep. <laughs> I struggled with that, too. Um, and I actually thought I found the Mediterranean oregano, and I was really excited. Um, but then they didn't really have it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I couldn't find it. I couldn't anywhere. find that one, and I couldn't find the, the chili powder with the E, not the I. Oh, um, yeah. Anywhere. The chili. Me either. I had to just substitute. I did, too. Um, regular chili powder. Mm -hmm. But I did I so like enjoy that she told us what we should have. Yes, and I, I did too. I always like that, mm -hmm. seeing those. I like the little packets she shows too. Yeah, that mm -hmm. we all see in the supermarket. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I thought that was good too. And then I liked that, you know, each section has a little blip about mm -hmm. the section. I enjoyed that. I did too. I um, obviously tabbed a bunch of mine. <laughs> Because, well, I tried two recipes for today. I also have a bunch I'd like to try or talk about, <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like oh, to yeah. talk about them. I'll talk about them. <laughs> um, okay, I actually started the tabs backwards, weirdly. So, uh, I plan to make my husband make this one, because okay. he does a lot of our breakfast foods, but she has this recipe for the uh, breakfast pan pizza. Did you look at this one? I didn't it see that It looks amazing. 
Oh, that does look good. Chorizo gravy. Yum. Chorizo gravy. <laughs> Anything uh-huh. with the word gravy, I'm usually like, yes, please. But And then <laughs> yeah. she says you're not going to use it all on the pizza, so you can make sloppy joes with it oh. that night. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. We can just totally do a whole day of this. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I should note that she makes a lot of... Um, like, you can try this if you don't want to do this. And yeah, I like the that. variations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought that was super fun. And what else did I pick? Oh. Okay. I'm bad at Spanish. <laughs> oh, you think I can do that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea how to say the last word, so I'm not going uh, to attempt. Sorry. Crema de agitada. <laughs> Sorry. Um, cream of av- avocado soup. Okay. I should note I hate avocado. <laughs> you do? In sushi. <laughs> you like it in sushi and you don't like it like as a guacamole with chips? Oh my god. I also what? should note that Mexican cuisine is actually my least favorite cuisine. But this book has turned me around. Because <laughs> I have so many recipes in here I want to try. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I love Mexican yeah, food. I know. <laughs> And that's well, great. I had so much fun reading the cookbook and seeing the pantry staples. Mm-hmm. No, like I said, this one has totally kind of opened my eyes up to um, what it could be. What it could be and what I should be doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so at any rate, I do want to try this <laughs> avocado soup because it sounded really good. Uh-huh. Um, and I really liked the comment that when it's so hot outside, you should consider doing a warm soup because you help regulate your temperature with the outdoor oh, weather. Yeah. Again, great tidbits. So just go read this. I know. <laughs> what else? Okay. Oh, I liked the mixed salad. I, I loved the mixed salad. Yeah. I want to try that one so bad. That yeah, right? One of my favorites, yeah. Like, this is a salad I've not ever even thought to do, and Me, as soon as I read it, I was like... The dressing, I love the dressing in mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. The tomatillo salsa T- with yep. the... Balsamic vinegar. The balsamic vinegar, yep. That one I really want to try, too. And it would be so easy. Yeah. Like, this is so, so easy. Yeah. Like meal prep. You have it all done ahead of time. Okay. Okay, this is another one I want my husband to do. <laughs> he does most of our meat, but it's the pulled pork. And oh, oh my yeah. gosh, this looks amazing. Because not only do you smoke it, which is how we normally do our pulled pork. Oh, okay. But you smoke it, and then you do this whole, like, braising for 12 hours. Is that the right word? Yes, that is the right word. <laughs> I, like, I have no idea. I can't so help you out. <laughs> you like smoke it for six hours and then you braise it for 12 hours. I bet that is some really, really good, really good pork. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. I only have a couple more and then I'll be done. We love the walking tacos. Oh, yeah. I like the walking tacos also. These were so clever. I don't, again, so clever. Yep. You just open up your bag of Doritos and you put your toppings in and you go. <laughs> so good. It's a great idea. I would have never thought of that either, doing it right in the bag. Even though I know, I'm sure that street yes. cars do it all, or street trucks do it all the time. <laughs> yeah. Whatever the food trucks, food trucks. Never thought about it. <laughs> okay, my last one. I wanted to do the dessert nachos and I almost made them oh, for today. Yeah. There was a part of me that was like, I just want to make these. I thought those looked really good, too. But I ran out of time, so I did not. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I thought this was great. Again, I felt like this really is opening up my eyes to things I should be trying and doing. Mm-hmm. And it's awesome that it's all food from Tucson. Yes. I like that, too. And I also really liked that she incorporates, like, Sonoran and Mexican dishes. And then she kind of changes them. And yeah. Puts like, her own little touch on them. Yeah. I like that, too. Uh-huh. And in the spirit of that, I feel like I did that to a couple of the recipes. Oh, yeah. I think I did, too. Okay. <laughs> but I liked that. It made it a very fun. I had to work with what I had. Yeah. I mean, I did try and then... Or my taste. Yeah. Failed on, like, some of the ingredients. <laughs> so, um, I need to try a different grocery store, evidently. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, do you have any other thoughts or comments? I don't think so. We should probably talk about the recipes we made. Yeah. I figured we would now that we're like into nope we're just gonna taste (laughs) okay why don't you tell us what we made okay we did the taquitos the one that's like right on the cover um and we did it with both versions the Mm -hmm. fried and baked since it does give us the variations so Jody did the baked I did the fried I'm a chicken so I didn't fry (laughs) (laughs) ha ha chicken anyway (laughs) 
So at any rate, what else did we make? <laughs> um, and then we both did something different. Mm-hmm. So we both did that with a variation. And then I made the lemon tre leche cake that's in here. That looks amazing. It does. And then... Okay, I'm not sure again on the pronunciation on this, so I'm going to apologize in advance. Um, I, I did think the... I might know how to pronounce this one. Calabacis con queso. Calabacitos. Calabacitos con queso. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> I partly did that because it was one of their, like, favorites. Somebody put in their comments when we were blipping about the oh, upcoming okay. book chat, yeah. and I was like, oh. And I'd looked at it before already, and I was like, oh, that looks good. And then after they said that, I was like, well, should try the one that I like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Do you want to talk about the process? Like, how sure. was it for you? Um. Okay. I'll start with the taquitos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. I thought the pasta with taquitos was easy. It was laid out really well. Um, I did exactly what she said for the poaching of the chicken. There's going to be all those pictures. Which the poaching liquid that the recipe has you make, it smells delicious. My whole house smelled so good this morning. (laughs) Did you taste it? Yes. I mean, it was pretty tasty. It was really good. Yeah. I thought you could save it and make cook rice or something in it and it'd be really good on the side. I did like that. Mm -hmm. Um, And then the chicken shredded up real easy and I was able to do make the taquitos. I will say I wish there was a tip in the book on how you can roll the taquitos without the corn tortilla breaking. Yeah. It broke a lot. I finally ended up putting them on a paper plate and in a microwave with a damp uh, paper towel on top to warm them so I could roll them. Mm -hmm. But you will see they don't all look great. (laughs) My color is inconsistent. I'm not great with frying and apparently not with rolling up taquitos. But I will keep practicing. I think yeah, I will. <laughs> I think that is a, a really good point. I struggled with the rolling up as well, mm-hmm. and I tried to warm mine, too. I think that idea with the wet paper towel was a really good idea. I also afterwards thought, oh, I should have put them in, like, foil and baked, or, like, not baked them, but heated them up in the oven that way. Oh, yeah. But I didn't think about it in that moment, either. Right, until, like, <laughs> we're struggling, like, oh, my God, and <laughs> um, you. It's not going to look like the picture. No. I had to give my... up that idea. <laughs> so um, I struggled. I thought yours turned out, you, you were way more successful than I. I only have a couple to show. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a lot darker ones I did not bring. Mm. So it did make, like it says it makes 16, and I will say I got 16 for sure. Oh, see, that's good. I might have got a little more, too. I In the baking process, you know, I, I did bake it for the eight minutes, like it suggests, but I actually did an additional four, and it still didn't get very golden. Mm-hmm. I probably needed to do it, like, twice as long, and I'm I'm eating up every oven is different, so I'm yeah. sure that's part of it. Um, but then I just kind of, and I, I took them out too early, so don't, don't judge me. I'm a novice. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we want to taste those since we're talking about them? Yeah, or we can show them. Okay. You show yours. Yours looks so pretty. I'll show yours, too. I will. <laughs> so these were mine. <clears throat> the fried. They look really pretty. These are mine. They are um, a little bit less pretty, obviously. So maybe frying is the way to go on this. Maybe. I think anything fried usually tastes better. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> I should have We try that. to say baking is so much healthier, but sorry. Some things just need to be fried. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, but I think that's a good point. Do we want to taste them? Yeah. Okay. I did bring guac for me. Nice. I didn't think Jody. I did not know she doesn't like guac. <laughs> <laughs> so I did bring a lot, but... No, you should have it. I'm going to have it for sure. Wait, do you want a plate? I don't really know that I need a plate for this one. I don't know either. think? Maybe a napkin. Yeah. And should we try one of each? Like a bite of each? Yeah. Awesome. I think that's a good idea. Um... Don't take that one, <laughs> but take that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Don't take this one because I think that one kind of broke. Okay. I'm going to take this one. Okay. And I did do a sour cream, although I didn't top mine because I didn't know that Tasha liked sour cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't like sour cream. So I'm just going to do the... You see, look how good we were. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I... Um... I did make the sauce that has the recipe with the Mexican crema mm. and hot sauce, but... I'm not a fan of hot sauce or Mexican crema. Oh, how so I didn't taste it, but I did make it for my husband to taste. <laughs> I like that. He liked it. <laughs> uh, I did the sour cream with a chipotle hot sauce. So it should be pretty good. Do 
Yours are really good. Bad. <laughs> Yours are really good. Hmm. We'll see. Fried was the way to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do the fried. <laughs> fried is good. Mm -hmm. In yours, you can taste the flavor of the chicken. I think a little more. Yeah, I definitely did not bake it long enough. So if you're gonna bake it, you need to you need to go until it's really golden brown. Mm -hmm. Don't chicken out like I did. But that being said, I think the fried were amazing. <laughs> the fried was really good. So fried may be the way. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you want to do your cake? Should we end with cake? Yeah, let's end with let's cake. End with cake. Okay, so <clears throat> for my second one, I actually thought this Ooh, recipe was really, yeah, really good. easy. I mean, literally, it's just um, cutting up, like, zucchini, um, corn, tomatoes. I did do a jalapeno, which was optional, but I did it. And then you basically just saute it all, add the cheese, and then you bake it. I mean, how can you go wrong <laughs> <Yeah>. with this? <laughs> <All right. laughs> um, and it's really flavorful. I mean, my husband was, I had him taste it at home, and he was like, what's all in this? And I told him, he's like, there's no other seasonings. And I was like, salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was really good. Um, you can eat it as a side dish. She also says you can throw it into a tortilla if you want it to be your main dish. Uh, because it had the word queso, I decided to bring chips. <laughs> Literally no other reason. <laughs> I but think I, it looks like it'd be great dip okay, for good. chips. Yeah. I, say, I did bring tortillas if you want a tortilla. No, I'm good with chips. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna show them this if you want to. Yeah, Jeremy, get a plate. Grab out a plate. Yeah. Okay, so this is what it turned out. I have a. I have a bunch of photos on how this whole process was. I'll just pour, put some on the plate. Yep. Okay. So I'll post those later. Okay. Is that good? You want more? No, that's good. Okay. Okay. I'll try to. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> oh, um, I don't know. Mm. What do you think? Oh, that's really good. It is so simple. Like, really, I just chopped it up and sauteed. <laughs> Baked it for 30 minutes. So this was definitely a good one. Yeah, this is a really good one. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks pretty. It does look pretty. And it looks really appetizing. Mm-hmm. It's really colorful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. And then anything with cheese. Yeah. I'm a I'm into cheese. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bear with us. We really need to be yeah, <laughs> sorry. this out better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to have room. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna cut the cake real quick. And let's hope for the best. I'm sure. <laughs> I've never made a tray leche cake before, so it was interesting. I think it'll be really great. Tasha tends to say that, and then it's amazing. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm just saying from past book clubs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, do you eat um, cactus ever? I don't. I did see that in there though. So when we first moved here, that was one of the first things my husband had to buy. He's like, we're in Tucson. We Let's buy this. <laughs> buy a bunch jar of cactus. <laughs> um, that being said, I've actually not really used it since then. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to really start venturing out, I've decided. Pull out a piece of cake. Oh, I'm sorry. You could even stick it on here for me. Oh, okay. Whatevs. Did we show Oh, it's the... so pretty. Did I you... don't think I showed the cake. Oh, mm -hmm. you should show the cake before we... Oh, maybe I'll show it. Okay. So this was the cake. It turned out so pretty. I love the sprinkles. I did think it was going to be a little wetter inside after all the liquid I poured in. Because <laughs> it has the three milks, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's it looks... a lemon tray leche, which I really liked that it was lemon. I hadn't seen that before. I have any, can I have that fork for you? Yes, Hang sorry. On. No, you're fine. Ooh, it's really moist. Yeah. Well, all the liquid. <laughs> How much? 
You pour it in after it's cooked, too, so then it has to really oh. soak in. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Huh. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. <laughs> that tastes really good. Like, really good. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't worried. <laughs> um, I know you made a few changes on this one. I did. Can we talk about them? Just because yes. I've, I, I think okay. they were fine changes. Okay. So, I left out the Greek yogurt only because I know I don't like Greek yogurt. I've tried it in other recipes, and I've never liked the flavor. So, I did leave it out of the frosting and of the cake. So, in the cake, I did substitute sour cream instead of the Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. And then in the frosting, I did butter instead of the Greek yogurt. Yeah. And I thought that was totally fine. Like, if you don't like Greek yogurt, why would you want to cook with that? Right. <laughs> and I did add a little more lemon. It does have you use lemon extract and a little lemon juice. And I did add lemon zest and a little more juice in the frosting as well. That was it. Yeah. Otherwise, I stuck with hers. No, I, I think this turned out amazing. I think <laughs> um, we were very successful on our individual <laughs> ones. <laughs> I think Tasha was very successful with her taquitos. <laughs> I will are practice. A off, but I need some tacos. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it was fun to try something new, though. Mm hmm. So. Well, I'm not kidding. This is actually not even half the tabs I plan to put in here. <laughs> so, I, I may be a, a total convert to Mexican cuisine at this stage. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> um, any final thoughts? I think so. I think we've talked about most everything. Mm -hmm. Maybe just, yeah, I think in the cake I needed a little more direction also. I wasn't sure if I mixed it enough. There was a couple spots when I wasn't sure how long to mix for. Yeah. This is one of those things that I was like, I almost wish here was like that little comment space where they were like, everything was great, but here's a little tip. Like yes. with the rolling the taquitos. Yes, I would have liked that too. Um, it made me know I could never be on a show like The Great British Baking. I don't have the baker's instinct. <laughs> so I'm <you're> totally struggling. <laughs> um, yeah, and I feel like such a very novice chef. Um, and I, I cook a few things, but I really only cook a few limited things. <laughs> so I'm good at those. Um, but this was fun. I don't venture out, and this was a venture out for me. Yeah, I know this was fun. I don't venture out much either. And even though I was a little struggled just on the rolling of the taquitos mm -hmm. in that I thought everything else was pretty simple to follow I thought so too and even looking at the other recipes I thought you know a novice cook could pick this up and be like this is great I can make this and right. be successful right I think at least gotta... I felt like I was mm -hmm. successful I do to an extent <laughs> I think so too I think to an extent I was too where and it wasn't like where I thought oh I can never do it again yeah. I know that if I keep practicing I yeah. can do it and with every recipe I make tweaks anyway yeah I do. I think just give yourself a chance. Yeah. To surprise yourself because yeah. I surprised myself with this cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I took a bite, I was really scared. And I felt like that with all the recipes. I like I read them and I was like, nothing sounds too hard. Yeah. Even the frying, she made it sound actually fairly simple. Pretty like easy. I really could have done. She the had the good tip of a Dutch oven, which I normally wouldn't think of when I am frying. Mm -hmm. Like I need to be completely submerged. Yeah. So I did use my Dutch oven, and I, it was extremely helpful. And frying the taquitos, having that extra space of no oil. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she really makes a good point of that with every fry dish. Mm -hmm. Like, make sure you leave that space for yourself. Yeah, and I did like that tip. Mm -hmm. And this was definitely a cookbook that I thought, I need to go get my Dutch oven. Because I don't yeah. have one yet, but I clearly need one. <laughs> <laughs> for sure you don't have one. You do need one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I briefly would like to talk about what we're going to do do for next Sunday, um, which will be going back to our more traditional book chats of just doing a book and reading it and not doing any extracurriculars with it. But next week, we are going to be talking about Black Sun by Be Re Rebecca Roanhorse. This is sort of a fantasy, I guess it's really more fantasy than sci-fi novel. Um, yeah, it should be really fun, I think. It's definitely more fantasy. Sorry, I'm stuck on that for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's lots of different characters. It'll be an interesting talk to see what we think about them. Um, so, yeah, definitely Who's tune in. joining you next week? Jen will be joining oh, me nice. next week, yes. So she will be back at it with me for a day. So, yeah, we'll see you all next Sunday at 3 p.m. Bye. Bye, thanks.